Well, curse words and teasing, the kind of banner you might hear out on the playground, but not between an elected official and a candidate for the state legislature. Our Carissa Plano is live outside the county recorder's office to tell us about the war of words that has some people, Carissa, shaking their heads tonight. Right, it all started with a Facebook post about special elections ballots and soon after the Maricopa County recorder hopped into the discussion, it turned very ugly very quick and had a lot of folks asking, is this conduct allowed? It looks like they took their personal beef into the public domain. In an October 29th Facebook post, Nathan Schneider, candidate for Legislative District 13, says it took him a while to find the election date on his mail-in ballot, and he suggests someone tell county recorder Adrian Fontes. Fontes chimes in, accuses Schneider of deleting his original response before cursing Schneider and teasing him about his mom. People tend to hold elected officials to a higher standard. They don't like to hear cuss words come out of elected officials' mouth. Marcus Delertino has run public affairs for campaigns, candidates, and companies. He says some politicos have a hard time understanding the gravity of their online activities. Go back to the 80s and use your cell phone like it was intended to, to make phone calls. Um, it's more sensitive um, and you can have a free flowing conversation. Fontes later posted on his own page saying, quote, passive aggressive attacks on my staff will be met with fierce and perhaps naughty language. I was told Adrian Fontes could not meet with me today. In a statement, he admits, quote, I could have responded differently and now I would like to move on. My messages to Snyder have not been returned. Now would be a good time for him to maybe reach out to him and say, hey, look, come have a meeting in my office. Let's sort through this. Well, the county's professional conduct policy does dive into social media use. It just says that employees should not do or say anything that might embarrass the agency. Uh, I did reach out to the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. Every one of those members refused to comment on this Facebook feud. Reporting live downtown, Carissa Plano for Arizona's family. And that is all public record. Carissa Plano, thank you. Former